Well, folks, welcome back. Glad you're still here. Thank you for staying with us. You're watching the award winning TV station, Maisha Television Kenya, and this is Maisha Prime News. And now, let me usher in our education segment. <laughs> Established in 1966, St. Cecilia Nangina Girls High School, located in Funula Sub County in the larger Busia County, has been one of the most admirable extra county school, enrolling thousands of students in the western and other parts of the country. My name is uh, Mrs. Victoria Lukum, Principal St. Cecilia Nangina Girls. I came to this school in 2019 from St. Agnes Shibuya Girls in Kakamega. And when I came to this school, I was happy to be part of uh, this school. St. Cecilia Nangina Girls is found in Samia, sub-county, along Bumala, um, Port Victoria uh, Road. It is a girls pure boarding, extra county school. Our school is a, a giant school in the sense that we have done so much. Number one, we have a population of 1835. We are a nine-streamed school, but um, currently our girls are in seven streams because of uh, lack of uh, many other classes but the school is doing well in terms of academics in academics nangina girls has maintained an upward trend leading the national schools from the county and western region at large the milestone that has made parents to enroll their children in the institution for quality and competency skills in all fields of learning. They do very well in geography, they do very well in home science, and they do very well in sciences. Like in computer, we had a mean of 11.7, and that was our best performed subject. And the rest of the subjects are also doing well. I uh, mkurugenzi wa masuala ya masomo katika shule ya wasichana ya Nangina katika katizi ndogo la Samia katuzi la Busia. Uh, shule hii ni shule yenye haiba kubwa uh, ikizingatia wanafunzi ambao wamepitia hapa. Tunapata kwamba tuna taaluma nyingi ambazo uh, zimetokana na watu kuwa kwenye shule hii. Tuna madaktari, tuna wahandisi tuna mawakili tuna wanahabari tuna walimu na takribani taaluma zote ambazo tungependa kuzitaja shule hii aidha imekuweko kwa muda mrefu aa, kwa sababu tayari tumesherekea sherehe ya jubilee ya miaka hamsini tangu shule hii ianzishwe aidha ni vizuri pia kutaja kwamba shule hii iko katika milki ya dini ya kikatoliki na hiyo basi mila na desturi za dini ya Kikatoliki huzingatiwa hapa shuleni kwamba wanafunzi huenda kanisani mara tatu kwa juma in the 2022 KCSC examinations Nangina Girls was among the top performing public schools in the county sending 194 students to various public sponsored universities in the country last year we had a mean of 6.5 and uh, we are happy that those are and those were our results looking at what was happening uh, in the country a lot of cheating but we invested a lot in our students and we are happy that our girls got a genuine results our girls do very well in computer studies shule hii ina walimu ambao ni wachapakazi na walimu uh, machipkizi ambao kimsingi hujitolea kwa hali na mali kuhakikisha kwamba wamekuwepo wakati wanafunzi wanawahitaji na kile ambacho huwa tunanuia hasa ni kwamba 
tunayoyafanya lazima iwe ni muhuri kwa maisha ya wanafunzi na juhudi zetu kama walimu zimetuwezesha mwaka jana kupata <coughs> kwenye mita ya takwimu 6.5 ambayo ni 6.5 uh, mean na tukirejelea wanafunzi ambao walipata uh, C+ plus, kwenda juu ilikuwa wanafunzi moja tisini na sita. We are a total of 63 uh, teachers. Uh, our teachers are very much dedicated, very young. They have a child at heart. And uh, we are very united. We work as a team and uh, our teachers work under minimal supervision. And I'm happy because this is one school where every other parent from Samia wants to bring their child, their children to be part of this school. So the modern and attractive structures in the school has given the school new fears and conducive learning environment. The recent project in progress being the multi-purpose hall with a capacity of over 2,000. The environment is very friendly. We have cabros that we have laid to ensure that when it rains there is no mud, when it is dusty we are not uh, having a lot of dust around the school and it is a courtesy fee payment of some of our committed parents. Uh, right now we are doing a major project of a multipurpose hall. It is uh, on it is the last, last uh, phase on finishes and this is a hall that can uh, carry 2,000 students. And we know when it will be over, it is going to give the school a major facelift. We have had uh, constructions of uh, classrooms, and uh, this is a courtesy our parents. And the World Bank has also come in to assist us in construction of four classrooms and a laboratory. The ministry also gave us uh, two CBC classes and because our junior secondary was domiciled in the primary, we are using those two classes and they have helped us to decongest one of the Form 3 classes. Apart from academics, the institution shines in science and engineering, home science, music, drama, athletics, leg ball, volleyball among others. We have just concluded our science congress and our students went up to the regionals. We also participated in a drama. They went to the regionals where we had a play, a solo verse and a narrative. And then currently we are participating in games and we are going to the regions. Our team was number two in basketball after Chakol girls. So we are taking around four teams. We have basketball, we have volleyball, we have soccer, and then we have badminton. So those teams are going to the regions in the course of the week. And we are very optimistic that they are going to do well. Um, I want to say that we have a very supportive board of management. They are very keen on what is happening in school. Our chair is Dr. Regina Buire, who is a lecturer at Masinde Muliru. And she has a lot of passion about the school because she's a lady. And... Uh, the issue of a girl child's education is very key to her. So she visits the school even when we are not having meetings just to interact with the learners to see how far and what they are doing. This is a school that does not send students home for fees at all at all. And from 2019 up to today, there's no single day I've ever sent students home for fees. We only struggle with the little that they pay through fee reminders. 
But I think 2023 is a hard year for everybody because even when I call my colleagues, they are like, parents are not paying fees. And so at least when they came from half term, it forced us to remind parents to pay fees. In the 2023 KCSE examinations, Nangina Girls has an academic plan of achieving a mean of 7.5. Tumepanga kwamba mwaka huu kutoka 6.5 tusonge na uh, moja ili tufikie 7.5. Na hii 7.5 haiwezi patikana tu lazima ifanywe kazi na mambo ambayo tumeyapanga kama idara ni kwamba silabasi iweze kutamatishwa mapema na ikizidi mwezi wa tano. Na juhudi ambazo walimu wanafanya ni juhudi ambazo ni kubwa na bila shaka swala hili litatendeka. Aidha tumeondoa ufundishaji wetu kutoka katika hali ya mwalimu uh, kushughulikia kila kitu hadi kwa mwanafunzi. Kwa Kiingereza tunasema we have decentralized learning from student a teacher centered to student centered okay my name is Raquel Aurelia Banefo the school captain of St Cecilia Nangina girls a school located in Funyola Busia county it's really a beautiful school in terms of cleanliness in terms of teachers and it's a really academic center and a school of excellence and a school of quality after completing my secondary school I'd like to be a nurse and study in Canada so I can get more information in terms of medicine. For Masha Prime, Masha Television, I'm Rida Kering Chabet.